Do you want to be the guy that faps seven times a day, feels like shit, and doesn't get anything done? Or do you want to be the guy who practices semen retention, goes to the gym every day, and is disciplined in his work? You tell me. I remember when I was like in ninth grade, and I would be on Discord with some friends. And I want you to imagine this. We would literally have a competition who could go to the bathroom, bust one out, and come back the quickest. It was really some degenerate shit. Like, imagine that. There was literally, like, even one or two girls in the call, and we thought we were cool doing that stuff. So fast forward now, 17 years old, and about 100 days of semen retention. This period of my semen retention journey has started in early February. So yeah, that's about 100 days as we are today, May 22nd. So how am I feeling? I'm feeling fucking amazing. There are so many great benefits you can pull from this. This is your vital life energy that you build up in you. If you can express this energy, sports, fighting, going to the gym, whatever you love, you can make such great use of this energy through productiveness, doing your work, filming these videos. You can start your own channel, be productive, sleep schedule, you're disciplined, you got a routine, you do everything you got to get done. This doesn't happen overnight. It's a progressive buildup. You build up that energy and you can focus on your goals. Now, I want to talk about a misconception that I believe a lot of people go through when they are on a semen retention or no fab journey. This is about wet dreams. A lot of people think that wet dreams are bad on semen retention. They think that you got to avoid them at all costs. If you have a wet dream, it's the same as if you relapsed. Fuck, start again. And let me tell you something. I've learned from a friend who is a master of semen retention. This guy, I'm telling you, he's a genius. Shout out to you, Thomas, if ever you're watching this. This guy, he's been on semen retention, I believe, a year and a half of semen retention. And he has done his research. And this man, he has taught me that when you have a wet dream, it is not through the testicles that you are ejaculating, but it's actually from the prostate. And this happens every 25, 30 days or so. And it's similar to the woman's menstrual cycles. So it's quite interesting. And this happens naturally, it just fills up and you're not losing any of like the sperms that are filled with protein and all the good shit for you. <laughs> now, I don't want this to get like bro science, but basically like wet dreams are okay. It's usually when your prostate is full, it will find a way to release itself. And this is not a bad thing. You'll notice when you wake up, notice from your own experience, you don't feel any loss of energy. You're still the same. The only difference is maybe you feel less woman attraction for a bit. And that's okay. It's just like, it's a buildup of the sexual energy and the sexual energy is not even, you, you can't even say that you lose it. It's, you can say it's transmutated. And there are actually exercises you can do to actually empty out your prostate if you don't want it to relapse, quote unquote, through a dream. And I'll link Thomas's video in the description if ever you want to check that out. His channel is amazing if you want to check it out. He's taught me a lot about semen retention. The only thing is his channel is in French. So if you know French, this is immense value. Check it out. I really recommend it. If not, he has a couple videos in English. And I think that's still worth checking out. So yeah, his channel in the description. Let me tell you. When I started this semen retention part of this journey, there wasn't much going on in my life, you know? 
one video a week maybe one video every two weeks not much productiveness going on yeah sure gym but no crazy routine going on i wasn't super consistent and i wasn't making progress even if i was going that's the point now across these over 100 days i've changed my diet i now eat a keto vegetarian diet which is quite unique might not be fitted for you but for my personal goals and how i want to live my lifestyle it is good for me i have a routine now that i follow i have so many good habits that i've put into place and that i can follow every day and i feel great productiveness feel great and things that you feel in your life the wheel isn't really spinning nothing's really going on seamer retention it's like the hamster, the hamster that's gonna run and make those wheels turn, get the whole machine running, you know, lubrify the machine, get the gears turning and energize you in so many different ways. Now, I wanna go over an interesting tip that I got from a commenter on the last steam retention video I made. In that video, I said that you shouldn't count the days of your streaks because you're putting too much importance to it. If you relapse, you'll feel like shit. You'll feel like, oh shit, I've lost my streak. You're giving it too much importance. But if you're not counting the days, you kind of just forget and it just becomes a part of your lifestyle. And it's not like, oh no, will I last another day? It's none of that shit. And this guy, he actually made a really interesting comment that showed me a new perspective, which is another mindset you can view. He made a comparison that the body is like a video game character and the soul is the player. So essentially, you can view it kind of like a game that if you were playing a video game, you'd want to try to beat your high score. You'd always aim for higher scores. So I thought that was an interesting view to actually maybe not hyper focus on the days, but still have an idea. So you can be like, oh, nice. This is the longest I've gone. You know, it can serve as motivation. So I think that was quite interesting too. You can try that tip out if you want. Now, I think I've said all that had to be said. I'll make some more videos on semen retention to keep you guys updated. But for now, the channel, I'll focus more on meditation videos, cold therapy, and as well as a bit of semen retention. And this all kind of ties in together. So yeah, stay on the self-improvement grind. And if you discipline yourself to go into semen retention, you'll see that it's immensely worth it because once you're actually into it, it's not that hard. It's actually really easy. Once you get the ball rolling, you can keep going. I feel like over a hundred days, I've done that two other times over a hundred days, but this time I feel like there's no stopping. It just keeps on going. All right. Hope you enjoy this video. Peace.